everyone, this is Valentina from Bad Girls Club Season 10 and Bad Girls All Star Battle Season 2, and I'm rocking with A Connection TV, baby. And you are watching A Connection TV. Hey folks, it's Ari from Real World Explosion, and you are watching A Connection TV. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth, shut shut your mouth. What's going on, world? I'm Wesley from A Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube, where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And the particular uh, connection that I want to adopt with all of you is the appreciation or the viewing pleasure of Roa, Real Housewives of Atlanta, the season finale. Not a whole lot happened on this particular episode, but I'm going to go back and forth from my notes to you guys. Um, excuse me. Um, to talk about this last episode and everything that's been going on in the media and so forth and so on. Now, you guys know that I stay up on things that I enjoy, things that I care for. Um, a lot of you guys get me together when I don't quote um, the aftermath rumors of the people on this cast and I don't really care about the aftermath like when I do reviews I review the episode that I've, I've watched um, a lot of people get on the the blogs and, and things of that nature and think that every single thing is verbatim on the blogs that's why I don't quote a lot of the blogs because a lot of the blogs aren't factual a lot of them aren't now when you deal with CNN and things of that nature then yeah cool but when an article is placed and it's a rumored type of situation, I don't really care to, to really hear about that anyway. But I said all of that to say that I know that a lot of things have been happening with these people outside of the show. Um, from Nene and her, you know, collapsed along with the blood clots, to Cynthia and Nene not being friends anymore, to the fight at the reunion, to um, Candy and Todd being married, and, and, and those types of things. like. Valid things I'll touch upon, but I don't really stay in the loop like that. I just watch the episode and I review the episode. Um, because I, and, and another reason why I feel like I can't, I'm not really here to judge someone and what they do in their life or what happens to them in the real world. Um, the stuff that we see on reality TV, it is staged events and they give us them during these staged events. It's not like, like, without the TV and the camera, like, none of them would be even entertaining what they do right now, majority of them. I mean, the only one that probably would be as far as they are right now is Candy. Everyone else, I mean, I just, it's not believable enough. So, yeah, I will critique how they act on TV, but what they do in real life, like, that's none of my business. Like, or at least that's how I look at it. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, um... We started this episode off with Todd speaking to Candy about him talking to Joyce and about the plan, all of that. Like I said before, I really think that that conversation that he had with Joyce was one of their better conversations because Joyce, although he feels that the emotion was one-sided, it really seemed to me that Joyce was actually trying and actually wanting to try. So I was feeling the vibe with them um, the last episode and him talking about it now, it was kind of like, okay, maybe he saw it differently, but I honestly felt that she tried. I mean, the fact that she actually sat there and got through the whole recording says that she tried because she didn't have to. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what, I wonder what Mama Joyce gets, gets paid to be on this show. That's just a thought. I don't know, it's just a thought for me. Um, now, Candy talking to Todd about this prenup. 
I don't know if you guys seen my video, but long story short, I feel that if you are going to marry someone, there is no need for a prenup. I feel that a prenup, and a lot of, we've gone through a lot of debates with this, I feel that a prenup states that I don't know if this marriage is gonna work out, but in the case that it does not work out, I wanna be safe. And my rebuttal to that is why the fuck are we getting married? I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Do I think that Candy is smart to protect her assets? Yes, I do. But at the same time, why are you marrying him? If you don't think it's for better or for worse, does not make sense to me. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, Velvet's Memorial. It was kind of sad that Cynthia and Toby were the only ones that showed up. I was like, damn. And then when Cynthia gave her speech and called Velvet a he, instead of a she, or is it a she instead of a, I don't know, called it the wrong gender and had to say, oops, I thought that was kind of ouch. And then I thought it was even more of an ouch when Cynthia brought her dog, <laughs> brought her dog to the funeral. I was like, damn, that's an ouch. I can't really dictate uh, or talk about how Cynthia reacted and if it was like an overreaction because can't nobody tell me how to react if my baby Mia dies. Or, you know, I just, you know, I'm not gonna be like, ah, ah, ah. I'm not gonna be doing all that. But, you know, some people are weaker than others or more emotional, uh, more emotional than others. Phaedra has successfully certified, has been certified, um, and and can be called a mortician. Okay. I mean. Okay. Portia and her twin and their mom talks about when hair grows back on my face. It's so irritable. Like hair grows on my face like every two minutes. Um. Like my boy told me that he read that Portia didn't receive anything, but. On, on on the uh, credits, it said that she received some alimony or something like that. Like, I I'm like, whatever. Like, whatever. This whole thing was based around her and her damn, like, divorce. Like, whatever. I, I mean, I hope Portia gets to come back on the show with her new titties. I mean, <laughs> can a female ask me why, why do... Why do ladies get fake titties? Like, I just, I, why do ladies get fake titties? That's my question. I just, because I, them shits just looked retarded. Like, they looked retarded on Portia. It looked like two hard watermelons just sitting there bursting, ready to burst out of that plastic skin. It, her skin looked plastic. The titties looked terrible. I didn't understand that. Like, it's not cute. Like, the appeal of a mannequin's body is just not... I don't see the appeal in it. And I like titties. That's the best thing on a female to me, is the titties. And then the part where the pussy just cuffs up underneath, just underneath right before it gets to the ass, and just that little part right there, that cup, that's hot too. I think that's beautiful on a chick. But, like, when it starts to look fake and plastic, the shit looks wrong. Like, why are you fucking up the body? I just don't get that. So I'm not here for her and her fake titties. I'm not here. I don't really care for her and her divorce. I don't care. Um, Cynthia's sex adventure with Peter, I thought was too staged, too forced, and too play play. But Peter seemed to get a kick out of it. But other than that, you know, I really can't picture them having sex. You know, I could, I could, I would be able to get off watching Mimi and Nico and their little sex trailer compared to uh, uh, Cynthia and Peter. I just feel like it would be some sorts of all wrong to see gray above the dick. I just, you know, I, I, I just, you know, I can't. Um, Nene and Greg have this discussion. I really don't know what the fuck was it about because, you know, I stopped, I turned. I think I got, I, I was on group me with my friends, uh, my peoples, uh, talking about the Palm Springs Boys, uh, which is a little uh, reality show that we're doing in California. Follow me on Instagram to get the digs and the details 
of the cast. But um, yeah, so I missed the whole Nene and Greg situation about her wanting to go to the hospital. Um, Todd and his, how does it work? How does it work? How does it work? You really get a feel for Todd running shit. And I think it's about goddamn time that we see Todd and our, and our boss kind of like light. You know what I'm saying? So I was feeling that. Um, you know, then we get to uh, uh, Candy's play. Candy's play was a, a big success. I'm proud of her. So then we get to the breakdown. Portia receives alimony, is dating an African tycoon, not to be confused with Kenya's African. Cynthia is still in limbo with bar one. Peter is talking to investors about buying property and it's not Cynthia. Kenya and the African going through in vitro in June. Nene hospitalized for blood clots in the lungs and Candy's play sold out five productions in Atlanta and her and Todd are working on a new production. Now, the show really started with the after show. Watch what happens live with Andy Cohen and Nene Leakes, Lenithia, Len Lenithia Leakes, whatever her name is. Is it me or is Candy Cohen not here for Nene? He is not here for Nene. He has every freaking right question in the book. Like if I was at, if I was interviewing Nene, I would have asked the same damn questions or damn near close enough. He did his fucking job on that show. Now Nene talks about having pushed aside for the reunion. I'm gonna tell y'all like this, quick with it, quick with it. There's only, and I said this already. There's only but so mother and much you gonna do to me, say to me, be about to me before I'm gonna get up and press your ass because you really, you really got this sense of you like you bought that life. You really got this, oh, I'm about that life. And you keep testing me with the wine and shit that she got and then with the mic megaphone. Bitch, really? Really? Okay, okay, so let's, so, so you wanna try me then? So bitch, try me. I'm not, I'm not, like Nene said, I'm not condoning, but I was, I was, I was here with Nene. I was ride or die with Nene. And Nene been tested like that all throughout the season. She really has. With that whole Marla situation, and she did not do Portia's route. So Nene, Nene is a proven uh, 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 evidence that uh, you don't have to resort to violence, but you don't have to sit there either. Now, Portia could have left her ass. She could have walked off the fucking stage. But she decided to whoop that ass. And you see her drag the hell out of, um, um, Kenya. Did Kenya deserve it? <laughs> I don't think, I don't think anyone deserves to get beat up on unless they start beating up on someone. So, in that retrospect, I feel that Kenya should have whooped Portia's ass because Portia grabbed her first. And Kenya would have had every right to defend herself. But, at the same damn time, Kenya should not open her mouth if she cannot back her shit up. That's it. I hope that Portia's still on the show. I don't know what else she really has to talk about, to be honest, because Cordell is successfully out of her life and with his boyfriend. So, I mean, there's there's no like real reason for her to be on the show, but I mean, I don't know about that. And then we get into... Um, uh, Nene thinks that it was not her fault for the pillow fight. Now, I said this in my review. It is not her fault the way that people reacted. Every individual stood on their own as an adult and should take responsibility for their actions as an adult. So, no, it was not her fault. But I think she played, she had a huge part in then the way things advanced, period. That's just it, okay? Um, Nene calls Marlo manho. Um, talks about her distancing herself after um, her wedding. Says Marlo wanted her to help her. Now, if Marlo's a man ho, that means that Marlo does what she does for money. And Marlo has been seen with expensive stuff. Now, whether or not Marlo still has the expensive penis on the side remains to be, um, remains to be seen. But, um, yeah, I wonder I wonder to what extent did Marlo ask for Nene to help her. And and it doesn't sound surprising. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. You know, because I can see a lot of the ghetto friends coming out and asking for assistance. I really can. I just 
you know, I see that. But at the end of the day, people grow distant with each other. And I, for, I, for one, feel that every, every, every single minute that passes, every five minutes that passes, you're evolving, you're changing, things happen in your life, things create new experiences and new, new thought patterns in your mind. And so people change, people grow distant, people grow apart. I'm not saddened, but I think it's kind of crazy that Nene and Cynthia aren't cool anymore. And for Nene to say that, or Nene to not agree with Andy when he was saying that, um, you know, Cynthia was always number one Nene. That was so clairvoyant. Like, that was just so evident. Uh, Ray Charles could see that. That Cynthia was just always pro Nene. Cynthia could not stand up to Nene for anything. Cynthia, Cynthia, Nene, Nene. Cynthia, Cynthia, Nene, Nene. That was it. So for Nini to be, it's funny, like every friend that Nini has had in, in all of the seasons, she is no longer their friend. Now, does that say something about Nini? Or does that say something about the people not being able to handle Nini? I don't know what it means, but just take note to that. Every single friendship that she's had going into the seasons, she no longer has anymore. I mean, she even called um, Sheree, Sherman. Like, she has all these jokes for people. Like, Nene, I mean, Nene is Nene. Um, Nene talks about the, the, the ball, the, the masquerade ball that she had and the fact that she asked um, Cynthia to match her 20,000 um, to the to the charity if, it's re if it was really about the charities. Now, I said this in my review too. I think that Kenya was not about resolving anything with Nene. I think that Kenya's role on this season was to be the drama, the, the, the drama queen, was to stir shit up, was to break shit up, was to be that puppet. And she definitely pulled them strings. I believe that that was her role. So I don't feel for one second that any connection that she had with any of the females on the show was really authentic. I think it's all a bunch of bullshit. I think she just wants that check at the end of the day. I think Kenya is here for Kenya and she wants that fucking check. So her trying to be friends with Nene, that's bullshit. I don't believe it for one second. Her throwing this masquerade ball in, in the name of Nene is all bullshit. That was a publicity stunt that I feel, I just felt that. Now, y'all bombarded my thing. It was like, oh, you don't know what the fuck you talking about because Kenya gave them the money and the, the charity wasn't real and all this extra shit. I don't give a fuck if, if Kenya gave them the money or not, if the charity wasn't real. Kenya did not have a valid reason for doing that fucking masquerade ball other than to out Nene, other than to use Nene's name like she said in, the, in, in this thing with, uh, the, uh, what you call it? No reason whatsoever. There's no way in God's green earth you're going to tell me you're going to bitch me spitting down my motherfucking throat when I come to your goddamn pillow function late. Berate me in front of these people that I do not give two fucks about and I'm going to be okay with it. I'm going to throw your bitch ass a fucking a, a, a masquerade ball in your honor the next day. That's, uh, that's bullshit. It's so much bullshit that she didn't even call Nene to formally invite her. Like, Okay, yeah, Nene read the fucking email. Whatever. Like, that's how you know it's bullshit because she could have picked up the fucking phone and called her ass, but she played Wolf and and, and she didn't. Like, it was bullshit. Period. Andy Cohen's face when looking at Nene was freaking priceless when she said that she couldn't afford the 20000 His look on his face was like, what are we talking about right now? Are you really serious? Like... Nene was in her own little world during this whole interview, and, and Andy Cohen was feeding her horse shit. Um, he asked, do you regret your speech? Nene says, you know, I regret the way that I acted. She, she said that she had hoped that she would go there with a different light, but she couldn't. Soon as she got the car with the rack, Nene speaks on a friendship with Cynthia. They're no longer friends. Um... Um, he says, what if Cynthia would have called Greg a bitch? Nene deflected that, reflected, deflected that uh, uh, question quite well and kind of reversed the situation and played it out until it fizzled out and it was just dust in the air. But uh, Nene would have got Cynthia together. 
Nene would got Cynthia together if, if Cynthia called Greg a bitch. That's it. Um, Nene says that Kenya is great crazy for the show, that she needs to just stay on her medicine. She says that Cynthia um, is going with the wind fabulous because she just blows where the wind blows. Um, and she also said that she Apollo is wrong for talking to Kenya and not having Phaedra's blessing for that. She feels that Gray would have never done that. Um, so she says that Apollo is wrong. And and Cynthia deflected the question um, and tried to plead the fifth. But, I mean, Nene. Nene thinks that Cynthia should not be on the show anymore. And I also think that she thinks that Phaedra should not be on the show anymore. So who knows? Um... But it's interesting that when Nene doesn't like someone anymore or they're not friends anymore, then they don't, they shouldn't be on the show anymore. So, I don't know. I want the cast to come back because that's just room for more drama, to be honest. It's just room for more drama. And I can't wait to see this reunion because I really know what, I really want to know what Apollo is going to say about these accusations and these charges for bank fraud and all that because his ass is on the, the fucking reunion. I really want to know what he has to say about that. I'm Wilson from A Connection TV. Leave your comments below the videos. Let me know what you feel and how you feel about NeNe. And this uh, Watch What Happens Live, I think that was the highlight of the show. My DVR actually recorded that extension. I didn't I didn't know why it did, but I'm glad it did because that was the show. The Nini's Watch What Happens Live was the show. Like this video. It's free to do. All you have to do is just click the button. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to set up anything. Just click that thumbs up button. And thank you for watching. Deuces. Mm -hmm.